afternoon. Thank you for joining us to celebrate the R in stream, religion. It may be stream week, but more importantly, we're in the season of Lent, a time for us to focus on our relationship with Christ. The following is a Bible story that explains why we celebrate Lent for 40 days. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil. He fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, and afterwards he was hungry. The tempter approached and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become loaves of bread. He said in reply, It is written, One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and made him stand on the parapet of the temple and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, he will command his angels concerning you, and with their hands they will support you, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Jesus answered him, Again, it is written, You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. Then the devil took him up to a very high mountain, and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in their magnificence. And he said to him, All these I shall give to you, if you will prostrate yourself and worship me. At this Jesus said to him, Get away, Satan. It is written, The Lord your God shall you worship, and him alone shall you serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and ministered to him. There is a, relation there is a relationship between us, sin, and Christ. Jesus was sent to wash our sins away. A reading from the letter of John. Everyone who commits sin commits lawlessness, for sin is lawlessness. You know that he was revealed to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. No one who remains in him sins. No one who sins has seen him or known him. Indeed. The Son of God was revealed to destroy the works of the devil. No one who is begotten by God commits sin, because God's seed remains in him. He cannot sin because he is begotten by God. Christ has the power to destroy sin completely. Let us close by praying the words that Jesus taught us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit.